Hello. So I thought I'd change that up just a little bit. Put you back up here. Don't knock it over. I have you on an extension cord because I didn't plug you in last night. Uh, so now we're stuck with this giant charger. It is earlier-ish in the morning. And this looked cool here, I think. Not too worried about it. I was telling somebody who wasn't actively on social media that I'm trying to learn the art of drinking water. Every time, how many different logos did they put on here? I can't block it out. Trying to learn the art of drinking water and minding my business. And they were like, does that mean something? I said, it's a social media meme thing. I said, oh, okay. Hi guys, this is Connie. It's 7.46 in the morning on Tuesday, February 15th, 2022. And uh, obviously I have not been online or posted anything with regularity for a month plus. Um, I found my planner. That's always a good thing. Um, I also found another random task that I was trying to put together and found a bunch of other projects that I had started and stopped. And one of these days, this is the goal. The goal is to get this one finished because it seems timely and important. Um, this is something I've been working on for the last half a year or so called uh, Connie Reed's Journey with Grief. And I'm going to get back into it for sure. Yep. Uh, it's especially timely. And I knew it was going to be timely eventually, whether it was an immediate thing or not. But in the last month, so quick life update, if I can do quick. Um... So there have been a number of things that I've been experiencing, but I'm also learning that like, I'm still separated pretty far enough away from this and that is a privilege. I'm very aware of that, um, but this is still my perspective and point of view of everything that's been going on. And in the last month, um, we have lost uh, three extended family members in my family. And I know that I've been watching several of my friends lose close loved ones um, in their in their circles in the last month or so. So it's felt like a really heavy season. I'm not loving this. Also, we're back in the craft room. Um, I had stopped using this space because I kind of used it as storage. And uh, along with a lot of the personal loss that's been going on and just kind of being feeling really heavy, uh, we had a check engine light on my vehicle and we had a pipe break right along that wall uh, to the outside spigot of the front of the townhome. Excuse me. And that caused me to have to like shift literally and figuratively a lot of things out of this room and has made it more accessible, but also we still have lots of boxes. And the part that gets covered from my head is a lot of disorganized, discombobulated stuff that I have accumulated over the years. And while I love it, and I had to take a lot of things down over here to repaint this wall back to the matching color. Wondering where my hands are at. Uh, it's been very heavy, but very productive. Um, and also uh, remembering that I have content from years ago, still kind of out here on my channel. Um, because occasionally I would do a thing called uh, 
video diaries. I've started to call them I talk too much because obviously when I have no script, when I have no book in front of me, I tend to just keep talking. Uh, proven like on my phone, I have a little counter here that tells me what the time is. You will never see that timer. So I'm basically pointing at nothing and everything all of the time. Um, without a script, I am going to keep talking and talking until I get my thoughts out because that just helps me figure things out. A video journal because I have not given myself the time and space to actually physically journal. Um, I've been learning to give myself a lot of grace and uh, was recently reminded of a video I did back in 2017 where upon watching a 40 minute video of me I talking too much that I, I learned that I did not give myself much less anybody else as much grace as I like to believe I give and uh, that was a little jarring and not as cringy as I thought it was going to be which is kind of helpful like I thought for sure I wouldn't be able to listen to that video for very long but there are parts of it that are super cringy and super out of date and context is everything and where I was at that point in my life is not where I am right now and I'm very thankful that um, there is still compassion there is still grace and there's still learning and growth happening in my life and uh, happening with people around me and hopefully like when I think about that, I just feel like I continue to owe so many people a very strong apology with my whole chest. There are things you learn to say and you can say just kind of in your own voice, but to say something with your full and entire being is a whole nother aspect that I'm actively trying to learn and you know, to, to understand that even as a 38 year old, uh, I'm still learning right along with raising my child and uh, walking in communities and relationships. It has been so important. There's, I want to almost go back and start this video again to re-emphasize how important community has been and how desperately we all need to stay connected to community, um, which is probably why cults are still a thing. I'm not going to have a lot of time to talk because I will need to start waking the household up at eight o'clock, which means that even though I could talk too much and I already have by making an eight minute plus video, um, yeah, life has been wild. Obviously, that video is from 2017. That was as a new mom, not understanding what postpartum anxiety and depression are, um, learning different things about my faith, not having some of the experiences that I've had post 2020. There was pandemic, there was racial reconciliation, a racial re revelation. Um, uh, there have been so many things that I do not believe that I held in those videos and things that I'm still trying to work out now that um, I want to thank whoever M was for watching my video and commenting on my video. I'm not exactly sure what your comment about meditation was referring to because that was a very long video and I didn't remember using the word meditation at all or maybe it's just contemplating meditating on the thoughts and scriptures and things that I was currently referencing to in that video but I don't know um yeah so update is it's been a very heavy season I keep convincing myself that this too shall pass that seasons do change and I'm thankful for it and I'm getting distracted by this random 
among other things. Um, I've started a lot of things and I have not yet finished them. That seems to be the theme of my life and the theme of videos that I post here is I will start reading books and I don't finish reading books. And one of the things that I've wanted to do in the last few years is I want to be a finisher and uh, I want to do my best to finish strong um, in those various projects. Also, so many projects. There's so many things that I want to do. And uh, this is the first time in a really long time that I have been able to pull myself off the couch that I've been able to get myself up and get moving. So I'm incredibly thankful for new momentum. I'm thankful for new years. I'm thankful for communities. I'm thankful for these books. I'm thank you for people in my life. I'm thankful for you if you happen to keep watching this after 11 minutes of a white woman on the internet who reads books and tries to give opinions about things that honestly there's so many other people in the world who are smarter than me who have lived different perspectives of me that need to have a voice before mine. I, uh, yeah, I've just come to the conclusion that I just want to be better and do better and encourage other people to do the same. <sighs> and still trying to figure out when the dust settles, how I'm doing better, how I could continue to be better, that uh, there's no there's no real end in sight when it comes to the number of projects you could take on, the number of ways that you can grow and learn and, uh, and teach yourself and teach others, uh, particularly grace and compassion. Uh, <laughs> those are two big things. Ultimately, love, which seems kind of convenient considering Valentine's Day was yesterday. My whole entire testimony in life has always felt like it eventually leads to a focus and emphasis on love. But that's going to continue to be a theme of my life forever and ever, not have to be specifically addressed in this video. But I wanted to say that I am trying to commit myself to getting back on some semblance of a schedule and that means at least uploading a video. I used to do video uploads every Tuesday and every Thursday so but I take on so many things at the same time that eventually I kind of burn out or I get exhausted or if there are multiple stressors from living life as you've already heard me explain uh why this video seems especially timely um uh this book because i know that i'm not the only one dealing with grief i know that there's a lot of changes that happens and sometimes we grieve those changes in our lives not just the loss of a, a person in our lives um yeah so many things and so much stuff and uh god willing all the time in the world to eventually get to it um and trying to make things a priority because i liked having the regularity of things i liked having those things and i miss those things i miss uploading i miss interacting i miss reading because it's fundamental go figure <laughs> and um it's nice to begin to see a light at the end of the tunnel, to know that the tunnel doesn't end, that it's not a, a dead end, it's a hallway, and um, to keep going and to try and do better. I think that that's been the basic theme of life at this point. And so I hope that you will join me. If you've fi listened to me babble for 15 minutes I and you connected in some way, um, please feel free to interact, whether it's sending a comment, hitting me up on shameless plug, any social media I have. I'm at Connie Tryon on most things. Try on like try on the clothes. And I hope to get started again. It is Tuesday, so this video will be uploaded for a Tuesday upload. And hopefully I will be back for more uploads on Thursdays. Weekends get pretty busy but at least if I can start doing a regular two videos a week and sticking to that 
through the summer, I will feel very accomplished. And uh, yeah, just lots of things that I want to do better and learn. And hopefully you can join me with that. So be careful with that and enjoy, please and thank you, which is just a reminder that it's be careful with life and enjoy it, please and thank you. Uh, it's been my outro for a really long time and my intro has always been, hi guys, it's Connie. And uh, so some things stay consistent. Um, some things don't change, but even when a lot of things change because change is inevitable, hopefully we can learn more and uh, do better together. Yes. That's somebody else's, there's several other people's outro, but be careful with that and enjoy. Please and thank you. And I will see you for the next upload, which will be chapter 11 of Journey with Grief coming on Thursday. So have a great one. I hope you're doing well. If you're not doing well, know that you are not alone. I feel it. The struggles are real um, and valid and that I see you and I hope to hear from you soon. Bye.